Hey YouTube, ready for a fish room tour? Well stay tuned. Alright YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with a fish room tour for August of 2017. And I thought I would just start off by showing you my flower horn. Um, this is a 9.9 Comfa. This is Colossus and he's been doing real well. Colors on him are just spectacular. He's been showing some really nice growth lately. Couldn't be happier with this fish. I know I say that all the time, but it's true. Um, he's just really, really a great fish. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say about him. Um, this bottle right here reminds me though, I wanted to show you guys, I know I did a quick video about this before, but for those of you that are um, wondering, I am selling Southern Delight uh, in bulk now. You can see all sorts of it in here. I've got large cichlid, power feed growth, veggie grill, all sorts of formulas. So if you're looking for Southern Delight in the one pound bags, um, in the bulk, uh, my email will be below and you can go ahead and email me on that and I will get you set up. Getting back to the tour here, um, this is my male Midas um, and then uh, the female, usually she's in this tube. Yeah, there she is down there. See if we can coax her out. Sometimes she's usually out and about but not always. This common pleco in here is just a massive too. But anyway, um, he's doing real well, and always is. Um, his coloration, just nice, bright, bright orange. Just love it. Um, and uh, yeah, they're both doing real well together. They don't breed at all, and that's just fine. But uh, it's fun to kind of watch this pair. Yeah, she's not wanting to come out right now. Ooh, maybe she, no. Anyway. That's this guy. Uh, behind us here, I've got a few uh, grow outs from my Moda pair that I no longer have. Well, I shouldn't say no longer have. I don't have them female anymore, as I said in my last video. She did die, but um, I've got three or four kind of fingerling size that were saved from one of the spawns or two of the spawns. I'm not sure. They never. They're, they always ate the fry right away, so I was never able to pull many, but every so often one or two would survive, and then they would just live in the tank, hide, and I uh, was able to pull a few. Nothing's down here except a pleco. And then we'll take you over here. Uh, here's the other flower horn. This is the red magma. Um, he's doing real good also. Nothing much new to say about him other than uh, just uh, looking beast growing well um, always digging in this tank um, I did water changes recent uh, while well, it was late yesterday and the rocks were <laughs> big big stack in the corner and I suspect by the end of the day today or tomorrow they'll be that way again uh, nothing down in this tank right now except a couple plecos um, one of the uh, Cadiensis pairs right here. You can see they've got some fry swimming around. This is new. Um, I pretty much lost all the fry I was growing out from these guys before. Um, so now I'm glad I've got some more and I'll take you over here in a minute to the other tank and show you that they've produced fry too. So that's good. We'll let these grow a little bit in the tank first and then we'll uh, pull them and hopefully grow them out successfully this time around. But these guys are looking great. Look at the coloration. I just love when these when when they are in, in spawning dress and the females are completely jet black like that. It's just super sweet. So anyway, this guy, he's a beast too. Up here are the reddest latest. He's got another little owie on his uh, nuchal hump there from trying to get in the tube and getting her. They spawned a couple weeks ago and we had wigglers that were just getting to be free swimmers went to bed next morning woke up and they were gone 
they ate everything. I just don't know what the deal is with this pair. Oh, there's another, there's yeah, another Moda Fingerling, because this is the tank that the Modas used to be in. I've been, I've been trying to catch him forever, but with all the hiding spots, I just have not been able to get them. With these guys, whether or not they produce fry for me, that's fine. I just enjoy this pair. The only thing is when they do spawn, their coloration gets so much nicer and that's fun to see. So I'm hoping that they can try to figure it out and maybe start doing some more spawning. But anyway, that's them for now. We'll move over next door to the male Moda. He's still doing good. His tail seems to be healing a little bit. So maybe the female was constantly nipping at it and that's why it wasn't healing before but um, you know now that he's alone his coloration isn't quite as nice but uh, he's still a great fish and at some point I'd like to get another female for him and uh, we'll just have to wait and see how that goes down here is the other Hadiensis pair between the two males, this one I really, I mean they both have great coloration, but this one's color is cooler to me when they're in breeding dress. And you can see there's a bunch of fry all over the place. So hopefully I'll be able to pull some of those fry and grow them out. But look at this guy. Anyway. Hey, the Ansys doing well. Dovi, same old story, doing well. Likes to try to bite ya. Females over here. Ooh, didn't do a real good job of cleaning the glass there. But yeah, not much to say about them. The Umbies are up here and they're doing decent. Haven't spawned or anything like that, but that's just fine. Optimus is the male right here, and Matrix is the female going back into the tube back there. So yeah, growing, doing real well. All these lights down here make it really tricky to get a good video sometimes without much glare. I would like to see these guys spawn again soon. Not so much uh, to have fry, but just to, it's really fun to see a female Umbi in breeding dress when she's all blonded out and everything. I just, I just really like that. So anyway, so we'll take you upstairs and show you Cheeto's tank and then we'll end the video. Okay, so here we are up in the office where Cheeto is and all the clown loaches. They are ready to eat, as you can see. I'm shooting this video in the morning, and they have not been fed yet. So I will go ahead and do that, I guess, while we're here. What I feed is, in this tank, is the Veggie Krill by Southern Delight for the loaches. They love it. I'm going nuts over it. And then I just feed large cichlid. Cheeto, which he loves too. But yeah, not much to say about this guy that hasn't already been said. Um, he's doing real well. He is hopefully going to get a couple girlfriends. Well, not hopefully. Um, should be happening next week. And we'll see what happens there. Um, I don't need to spawn this guy ever, um, but it would be cool to see what kind of nice fry we can get out of him so uh, I've got a couple of decent sized females coming I'm gonna put them both in this tank and see what happens uh, the loaches are doing real well this albino pleco here is doing great too see that guy back in the corner as well but yeah that's really all I've got for you guys this uh, this time um, you know, I always say thanks, uh, but I really mean it to all your subscribers and everybody that comments and checks out these videos. Oh, this tank is still set up and um, I've got some plans for it. Totally different than what I originally was going to do, but uh, I'll just wait and show you when I do it, hopefully soon. 
anyway, um, like I said at the beginning of the video too, if you are interested in purchasing some Southern Delight in bulk, get in touch with me. My email will be below the video in the description section. Or you can find me on Facebook. You can go to the Aquatic Support Systems um, Facebook page. I'm operating under the name Aquatic Support Systems now. Mike and Conway have given me that name. Um, also, you can look for pricing on a lot of the different uh, Facebook groups, including Aquatic Support System, Amphilophus Connect Connection, uh, AquaZone, T-Midas, all those types of pages have got my price list on it. So let me know. Um, thank you to everybody thus far that has supported me in the Southern Delight venture. Um, it's been overwhelming and I'm just really appreciative of it. And I'm more than anything just happy that I can keep this awesome fish food in the market in bulk for those of us that have multiple tanks and need to buy it in bulk versus bottles. Um, so anyway, that being said, um, thank you again for all your support. Thanks for watching these videos. Let me know if you have any questions and until next time later.